Obviously did a video of playing golf every single day for 30 days to try and lower my handicap. That was kind of successful. We dropped from 19 handicap to about 17 handicap. But now it's time for the next adventure, the journey to the single digit handicap. And with a new journey, we need a new plan. Step one, get a coach. Step two, practice. Step three, play rounds of golf. Step four, yeah, repeat until my handicap's lower than 9.9. .9. Not much of a plan, uh, just get a coach really. So a couple of days ago, I had my first lesson with Cam Jones, who's my, gonna be my coach going forwards. Didn't record the first session. I didn't wanna really throw a camera in his face for the whole time. So yeah, after speaking to Cam, I'm uh, pretty excited going forwards now. Um, we're actually gonna abandon the whole swing change thing, which I was working on on the previous video. He reckons it's gonna be more beneficial to just stick with my normal swing rather than trying to change it to make it more fancy. Uh, after looking at my like dispersion and that, he actually thought that if he was just to base off the stats alone, and not knowing of what I said, he would have thought I was about an eight to 12 handicap. So that provides me with a bit of confidence. Yeah. So he asked me what I thought was causing me to like lose most of my strokes. And I said, it's mainly my tee shot as people on this channel uh, would have seen I've lost many a shots from the tee. <laughs> hell. Oh, <laughs> hell. After seeing my tee shot, he actually didn't think it was that bad. And when it's actually in play, it's actually pretty good, especially for my handicap. However, the issue is, like, as you can see, I just bought it on the tee box uh, numerous times. <laughs> so what he wants to do is make me practice under pressure. So I can feel those nerves, which I normally feel at the tee box, but practice in under that circumstance as well at the range. So one of the ways he suggested doing that is driving out to the range, uh, waiting for the bay, booking the bay, getting into the bay, and then setting out my two target points, the, the fairway as such, and then trying to hit the fairway as many times as I can in a row. And as soon as I miss, I have to go home. So it could involve driving all the way out there and then me hitting two shots or maybe not even two shots and driving all the way home. Right, so we just got to the range. We are going to go in there and have a little warm up with just like wedges like I'd normally do. Go straight into driver and as soon as I miss my target, we're going home. <laughs> Don't wanna go all the way out here and then have to go home after one shot. Come on, let's not, let's not be that guy. Oh no, boys, we got no. God damn it. And it goes well that was absolutely brutal <laughs> right so yesterday's rain session did not go as uh, as planned i was hoping to get a few more hits out there but it was a very good drill and i think it served the purpose of like really like simulating that kind of pressure that i struggle with on the tee box hoping to maybe include that like once a week good thing about the starting point is i can only go up from there <laughs> um, and the other thing was i did actually hit the drive pretty well um, and it was just off to the left so i will take that over just hitting it into the deck or, or massive slice uh, we can work with that so yeah that was a positive so tonight we're off to the other range and we're going to do our virtual golf round which i do with my friend back home uh, helmore he's currently two one up in the series but uh one of those is questionable handicap, but we've kind of adjusted it now so he gets two shots on the nine. Yeah, if you follow on my Instagram, then what I want to do is maybe try and get everyone involved. Like, so uh, we'll post out when we're going to do the course and then for other people that want to get involved and join in, feel free to do so. It's just like one of the things, again, which structures your range a little bit better and it also gives you a little bit of pressure on shots if you're trying to beat someone. Oh yeah, and the other thing which happened uh, yesterday actually, I purchased a golf watch, the Garmin S62. I managed to get a pretty good deal on Facebook Marketplace and I met this lovely guy called Troy who sold it to me and spoke to him for like an hour. He's unfortunately had to kind of give up golf which is why he was selling the watch because of injury. Troy, if you're watching, uh, thanks for the quick yarn. And also um, let's play around together when you um, recover up and get back into the game. We're taking the watch out for the round on Sunday, which will be at the end of this video. Just another quick one. If 
you guys have any drills that you like to do at the range or especially like kind of like putting drills and chipping drills if you've got any of those feel free to put them in the comments or follow me again on instagram and message me on there so i can understand how to do the drill keen to pick up a couple more drills to improve on and also to show to other people who are in the similar positions as ourselves like the higher handicappers trying to get uh, down to a single digit or even just to reduce their um, errors somewhat so the course we're doing this week is the royal troon front nine off the yellow tees all right so driver short par four Ah, uh, that's going to be left. Ah, oh, I keep on... Wow. Oh, that's so far long. God damn it, man. Right, that did not go as I was hoping. <laughs> Fairly confident that is not going to be enough to win that round. For some reason, I thought it'd be smart to try and do a 9-9 punch shot instead of, like, normal wedge shots for the putting worked really well in the practice when I actually did it. I, don't, I think I made one par and I also missed a massive target which made me hit a double. So considering he's got two shots, I think that's gonna be free one to him, but we'll catch up with him later in the week to find out how he scored. We finished the rain session fairly positive. I took 12 drives. That's about as many drives as I'd probably be using the driver for on a round and just wanted to see how many I'd get in the fairway. Not, don't worry about distance. The first one I actually did pipe. I think I ended up with uh, eight out of the 12 drives in the little driving strip at the range. Um, so positives to be taken there. And um, yeah, we're gonna head back now, get some food, and we will go to the putting and short game tomorrow. It is the next day now, and we're gonna go get some putting practice in. And we've got new balls to go in this little ball grabber. Got the Kirkland signature golf balls in uh, bright yellow. But yeah, I've started um, practicing with the balls I'm actually playing with as well because that seems to actually help rather than using little terrible ones. So we're gonna take the new balls out today. This tube is actually a little Timu purchase. Uh, but yeah, we'll go to the course. Welcome to this drill, which I've robbed off a couple of people, like it's called like a clock or the compass. Um, basically it's gonna work, you have like three foot, six foot and I guess nine foot and put all these tees down so we know rough oh god nearly fell over setting up now we put a ball down each one of these it's actually kind of pink because of the marker putter today let's get at it so basically what it is is that one's for par that one's for par that one's for birdie and then you've got to go all the way around and you've got to try and get minus one as a total score we won't stop until we complete it all right Start here because it's not flat. This one's actually in the line of it. All right, here's so this one's the first one for birdie. That pin is in the way. Oh god, that's <laughs> mild pass. <laughs> right, I'm not going to reset on the first one. Uh, we'll see what the opening score was, but that was an awful part there. Plus one. <laughs> That's nearly gone in. Okay, so plus two on the first two. Let's just uh, empty the hole. First birdie, we can take it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, this has got a nasty bank on it, this one. Oh, what a part. Two birdies. Okay, so... Well, I missed three, so I think I went around in plus one. It's not a bad start, but... Let's reset and we'll go again. This time I've moved the um, moved the tees so they won't be in the way. <laughs> no. <sighs> so now we need two birdies. Oh, what a putt. 
back to even. Nice, get in. This is the harder direction. It's got the most of the bank, which I think you might be able to see this time around. Oh my God, it missed. Oh my God, it just slipped out. Uh, right, so from one under to one over, I need to make this birdie and then birdie the next one. Oh. All right, so not possible now. Uh, I lipped out. All right, this time we're going to start from this side. Now, just a bit more pace and commitment into that left edge. It's too hard. It's too hard. Oh. Ooh, just ah uh, no that's gonna be that one over I think ah, it's a good birdie putt but we're gonna have to restart Yes, get in. Ah, it's gonna snap. That was the hardest one. Oh my god, no. Ah, I can't believe I've done that. Yes. Oh, what a part. All right, come on, watch. This is the one. This is the one. Yes, that's such a good part. All right, let's see if we can get minus two. There's actually a little bit of meat left on that. <laughs> nah, easy. Hey, <laughs> minus one, so that took us, I don't know the time actually, I should check the time. But yeah, no, good drill. Uh, got around it on the fourth time. All right, and then this is the most fun part of the challenge afterwards, just picking up the balls. So yeah, if anyone's got any other putting challenges or putting drills which they would like to share, uh, please let me know below or follow me on Instagram and let me know on there. Uh, yeah, just check you don't left a ball behind, that's always not ideal when you're playing with your premium balls. But yeah, to be fair, putting has been a pretty solid part of my game recently. Uh, I did a 31 putt round last weekend, and I did a 26 putt on the one before, but scored 91 on that one, and then like 100 on the one before, so yeah, till the tee shot just killing me. Right, we're gonna finish on a bit of chipping. I actually duffed a load of chips in the last round, which was pretty unfortunate for me. Uh, it's normally a strong part of my game. Uh, so we're gonna chip from uh, just down here. So down here, we're chipping up onto the green. We're gonna step out how far it is to let you guys know, but the idea is I'll take 10 shots and we're gonna try and get up and down at least seven out of 10. So to put it relevant for my game, because I often will be like off the green for my approach shot, it's like practicing to try and make it up and down for par. So if it's 10, shots then we're allowed to go we're allowed to go free over so anything more than free over we start again got my 48 56 and 52 actually chipped in with the 56 at the weekend um although it was chipping to say for a double so <laughs> not the best chip in to celebrate I'm gonna start with the 48 because that's my get a bit more roll out on it It's a pretty good first effort. Oh, go on, get in. Oh, that's gonna be a hard one to make. 
Roll out, roll out, get in. Oh. It's a bit higher. Oh, that's awful. That rolls nicely. Putted well earlier. See if we can clean these up. Oh, none of these are easy. <laughs> oh, there's one. There's two. Oh, that one's miles away as well. Oh dear. Plus three. Um, that one's in a <laughs> divot. And then all of these ones are actually pretty close, obviously. So they're all par putts, which we're going to try and make now. We're currently sitting at yeah, even, but one of those is for plus one. So they're all for pars, apart from one, which is for bogey. Okay, um, pretty solid in the end. <laughs> Stoked to make that long putt for the other one. Uh, so I think that was, yeah, plus three, so seven out of 10. We'll take that. And back to the house. The Jack Burst Helmore rivalry dates back to 2007. It isn't just any ordinary feud. Think Ash vs. Gary, Goku vs. Vegeta, or Tom vs. Jerry. That gives you an idea, now we're just the high handicap versions of that. Nothing special really, a bit over the top, but uh, yeah, we're competitive. Uh, let's ring and find out who won. So, what was it? It was Royal Troon, right? Royal so Troon, awesome. front nine, yellow tees. Now, a bit like you did la last week, I have to caveat that I do have a mulligan in here. It was, um, it was the tee shot on one of mine, and obviously I'm a left-hander, and there was a right-hander next to me, and it was dark. And I swear it picked up his shot because it like went nowhere. The guy literally duffed his shot in front of me and it picked up that. I mean, the grin on your face is... Yeah, because you're grinning at me, see? So you... <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah, well, okay, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll allow it. Okay, yeah, so the, the rule that we have amongst ourselves is that um, if you uh, use a mulligan, obviously it says on the uh, scorecard at the end. Um, but you're allowed to argue your case if it was legitimate. Like last time I did a chip and it didn't register, so I did it again until it registered. Um, and yeah, him being left handed, I think that, that that's fair. We'll allow you. Legitimate uh, left hand, and it's only one. It's not like I got every tee shot some mulligan. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, so we're going off just two shots, which I think we may have to readjust again. I feel as though the <laughs> virtual golf is slightly easier. Do you want to lead the way, hole one? Hole one was a birdie for me. Oh, for God's sake, it is done. <laughs> <laughs> what is the point, man? Well, did you, did you double it or something? I got a bogey. All right. So what, I'm, I'm chasing how many shots now? Four Three shots. shots. Four. Four shots. Yeah. And I finished on a bogey as well. Oh, I got a par. <laughs> uh, what, did, what did you get? I got plus eight. Yeah, I was plus six. Yeah, so what, so, plus, so you beat me by four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so 3-1. Uh, one, one, technically 1-0 one in the recording series. So we'll, we'll start, we'll do the first three as just intro. First three were practice, were they? Yeah. Gutting for you because your first round is what? Yeah, I had my best one on there. Yeah, that's fine. I'll put it on the screen so everyone knows. All right, so Helmut takes a 1-0 lead. But step three, let's play some golf. For the first round of the series, we head up to Walkworth, par 72. All right, nice warm up. Do some chipping and putting. Then we head across to the first tee. Uh, a little bit of rain coming through. Um, but yeah, the course looks in good nick. 
So whilst I do a bit of putting practice, one of the other things that Cam told me was to set out with a purpose. So what I did today was I wrote down on my phone, I put, I'm going to break 90 today and get a birdie. I guess that kind of like manifestation kind of style, uh, something I've not done before, but always keen to give it a go. Right, over to the first hole, par 5, 456 meters, OB to the right hand side. No worries for me as I've hooked it over to the left into a tree. It's come out into the other fairway mind. And that's more trees. Didn't quite come through, tried to punch it across, ended up punching it to the other side. First high handicap error, tried to open the face to kind of fade it round. Okay, it's not the start we're after there, boys. <laughs> uh, so one, two, hit three trees. Right, but I tried to dial back in, use the 48 degree. Unfortunately, I did push this one off to the right. At least the distance was there. And that chip, unfortunately, I haven't landed it way too far. Missed my landing point by quite a bit there. Pied it back across, so still got a bit of work to do on this putt. And unfortunately, we've missed that one, so we're going to tap this one in for a quad to start things off. Certainly not the start I was after. However, plenty of holes left to play. You literally <laughs> took yourself out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you <laughs> didn't even... <laughs> Right, par 4, 298 meters, and again we've put that one off to the left. Bit of a low hook that time with the driver. Again, running across to the other fairway. Uh, took my time to set up a little bit with the pitching wedge. Just wanted to get over the trees. And I actually managed to get under the trees there. And you want to run off as people are hitting down that fairway. And again, I've pushed that one off to the right with the 48 degree. And here we go with the best shot so far. 60 degrees to give ourselves a chance to get up and down and that putting practice pays off on this occasion right another par four putting the driver away this time and hitting the six iron right down the middle also when you know the course you don't want to go too long here give myself a nine iron in however that one's cleared the back of the green and that's what happens when you use your driver on this hole oh you've done really well there Spent a bit of time lining the camera up between those trees, only to find out I'm the gap to the right. So you can see I'm just in the corner there, got the 60 degree out, and I want to chip it down. It's actually a pretty nasty downhill lie. Hit it absolutely perfectly, and it goes in for the first birdie of the series. And that's the birdie ticked off, and shows why you don't drop your head after a bad hole. Just keep going, and good holes come. Not quite the angle I wanted, so that could have been pretty epic, but great shot nonetheless. Hopefully carry that confidence onto this one, and unfortunately that was not the case. <laughs> Such a ridiculous chip in. Uh, hopefully I've got away with this, but this is the practice for the up and downs. Hopefully gonna come into play here. Unfortunately this tree obstructed me a little bit, so came short, wanted to limit the damage here, so I went with the putt. A bad putt is going to be better than a bad chip, probably nine times out of ten. And unfortunately, ended up missing this putt, so we ended up getting it double there. But that's all good. Uh, going on to a 294 meter par four, it's uphill though, so it plays a little bit longer. Got a side angle just so I can send a couple of bits of footage to Cam as well. And that one found the middle of the fairway. Gave myself about 110 meters, which I hit my 48 degree, and unfortunately, went long on that occasion. Again, I never really used a putt from these situations, but this was going onto a downhill green, and if you blade it, you're gonna go off. Still a bit of meat on the bone, however, and this one has a nice little bobble, but it does go in, so we rescue a par. So again, the putter is starting to heat up now. 298 meter downhill par four here. Great strike with the six iron. Not gonna go with the driver, because that can put you in more trouble than what it's worth. And wanted to leave myself about 90 meters in, and that's pretty much what we got on the spot. So we're at the 52 degree here. Aim slightly to the right because it does bank down to the left and got a soft bounce. I thought that was going to roll on the green, but still happy with that one. Again, missing long is bad here. Don't have much rough to go through, so I'm just going to putt this one. As you can see, Ted went off the back there down to the left and we managed oh to train goodness. that for the second birdie of the round. <laughs> Never really used the putter off the green that much, but obviously it's working. 140 meter par three here. Took the eight iron at this one because there was a bit of wind into us and still managed to hit that miles long. Uh, so now we're gonna try and chip here onto the green. It's gonna roll down to the left-hand side. And got the roll right, however I've hit that way too long. And that's unfortunate. Got the putter out again now, and I've ended up leaving that one short. 
not the magic stick after all. But again, a bad putt's going to be better than a bad chip. Unfortunately, misread the bank on that one. Still a bit of meat on the bone here. But that practice on the putting's paid off and we've sunk that one in. Going on to a short par 5 here, 424 meters. It was OB to the left, so I took the 6 iron. That was the advantage of the watch. You could see what to lay up to. And then took a respectable pitching wedge into the middle. Unfortunately, it rolled down off the green into this fixed stuff. Took the 9 iron at this one. And this one could be the best shot of the round. As I managed to find the back of the green here. So our first green in reg, I believe. And confidence still high with the putter. And rightfully so, as we actually nearly ended up draining that one. Just went a little bit more left than I was hoping. But great distance and easy tap in par. 143 meter par 3 to see out the 9. And I've ended up kind of hooking that one off to the left slightly. And found some fixed stuff. And it's pretty wet and soggy here. So going with the toe down kind of putt approach. It's a much safer shot, so if you don't use it, highly recommend utilizing that in those situations. So it rolled out a little bit longer, but we just want to walk away with a bogey here, protect the scorecard. Already had that bad hole at the start, so we can't really afford any more slip-ups. So see that one in for a bogey. The two birdies in the front nine really did help the score. Starting the back nine with par 5, 467 meters. And that was a very clean strike with the driver. However, I did push it off to the right, but plenty of space on the other fairway there. <laughs> little ducklings uh, getting out of the way and I'm just going to try and lay this one up into the fairway here so taking my pitching wedge and unfortunately that went a little bit long and you can't see from this view but there's a tree above me so I'm going to try and just punch this one into the middle of the fairway not my best punch shot in the world can't lie just didn't fancy trying to thread through that tree it's alright in the middle of the fairway Again, if ever in doubt, put yourself in the fairway and work from there. Give myself a perfect opportunity here from about 70 meters, and I've chunked it. That was very disappointing, as you can see. Slightly confusing. Ah, oh, that was a perfect lie as well. So after that mishap, I'm uh, going to go back to the toe down approach here with the 48 degree. Chipped it up there, and that's rolled pretty nicely towards the pin. Gives myself a opportunity to save the bogey. Unfortunately, just misses there, so we're going to have to settle with a double on this occasion. Okay, par 5 again, 434 metres this time, and that driver was absolutely striped, probably the best one of the day. And that one's down the left-hand side of the fairway. Okay, now we've got the 9-iron in, we're going to lay up here because there's water just to the right. End up hooking that one into the tree slightly, unfortunately. Did go a bit further than I was expecting, but that's fine. And that's not so great. Another duff chip shot. And as you can see, a bit of wet spot there. But hit that chip pretty clean. Landed next to the pin. It's just rolled out. So long putt for par. And just short. But we'll take the tap in bogey. Shame about that 9 iron, really. 125 meter par 3 uphill. Ended up pushing that one slightly off to the right towards the bunkers. So now I've got a chip over the bunker, going for the right edge because that's safer, and I fell into the gap, but at least it's safe. Again, getting the trusty putter out now, so it does bank down to the left here. And fairly good read, not too bad, and tidy that one up for the bogey. Going on to the last par 5 of the round, driver at an all-time high. Got confidence going into it and I hook this one off to the left. Actually gets lucky and goes down below those trees. Playing it smart up the left hand fairway of the other hole with the hybrid just to keep it low. Again another bladed pitching wedge but I've got away with it. Got that 90 meter shot in again on a slight downhill and unfortunately the camera fell over. <sighs> Didn't miss much boys. Found the green however and hopefully we get a two putt from here. Bit of a long one, got a couple of bounces, but it gets pretty close, it's a good effort from there. And we tidy that one up for the bogey. Normally after a bad drive I would have put it away, but listening to Cam and confidence from the tee. And we've whipped out another great drive, this time found the centre of the fairway. Unfortunately couldn't capitalise on it and we've bladed the A-time along the floor, but it is going to roll up there. 
So we had about a 40 meter chip here. A lot of green to work with, just wanted to get it on the front of the green and roll it towards the pin. And I ended up kind of blading it, landed past the pin, and it's going to go down towards the back. Worst case scenario there. Taking the 60 degree at this one just to get up. And we've not bladed it, but we've got a lot of distance between me and the pin here. So we've got to make this one to save bogey. And we've made another great putt. Putt is on absolute fire today. That putting at the start of the week really paid off. I was a bit hesitant using the driver on this one as it was OB to the right hand side. And I think that hesitation is what led me to hook it into the trees at the front left. So we use a hybrid just to punch it up the middle of the fairway again. It rolled out into the rough. Left me over 120 meters. I hit the pitching wedge and just missed off to the right of the green. And again, part of them off the green's been pretty solid, although that big bounce slowed it up a lot. So a bit of work to do here again. But again, the putter is on fire. So secure the bogey on that tee shot, nothing to complain about. Right, quick note on the watch. It's been going great so far. However, on this hole, it was showing 170 meters, yet the sign was showing 153. Back to the distance on the sign and hit my 8 iron and went just off to the right, leaving me with this putt to the green, which is actually a very. And we gave ourselves an option for par here. Haven't had one on the back nine, and we managed to get one just before the rounds up. Okay, another short par four here, 268 meters. Went for the four iron and hooked it into this tree. Kind of bounced around all over the place, but eventually came out at the bottom. It's in like a little divot, so like... Not the best of lies. And I'm I just happy to that. get that into the middle of the fairway, to be honest. Had about 100 meters here, so taking the 52 degree at this one. Oh, no. And unfortunately I've bladed that off the back and that's gonna roll way back. Really wanna get up and down from here. So a lot of green to work with, hit the 48 degree and I've landed that pretty nicely and it's rolling back down towards the pin at the end and the putter once more has saved the day and that's another bogey save <clears throat> so if you're looking to shave shots off your score definitely go to the putting green and do that compass drill final hole, hole 18 270 meters, I was just checking the distance to the water on the right hand side opted for the 6 iron instead, no point in risking it actually ended up pushing it off to the right there and it went a lot closer to the water than I was expecting at about 125 meters to the front of the green opted for the 9 iron just to go to the back to be safe and unfortunately after a fair bit of searching round this is the wettest part of the course and uh, it must have just got plugged and buried at the back at the time I couldn't believe it actually gone to the back but we'll find out why towards the end Dropped the ball roughly where it went over, giving myself a less than favourable lie. However, chipped that one a little bit long and just went off the back of the green, stayed on the fringe. So one final putt off the fringe here. Just fell short, nearly rescued that one. I spoke to the club at the end and they actually said I could have a free drop on that last one due to the condition of the course. Meaning the last hole goes down as a bogey as well. So I finished on a total score of 89. Uh, on my handicap it actually goes down as 88 because the first one got reduced to an 8 as a maximum. Now the standout was the putting obviously, 24 putts total. Obviously there's a couple of putts off the green which don't count. However, that was absolutely ridiculous outing from the putter. And then to top it all off, I was trying to figure out why the distances were a little bit funky. It turns out I had the watch in yards and not meters. I don't know how it took us the whole round to figure that out. But well, that explains why a couple of those shots went long, so we'll make sure to change that for next week. But a solid start to the series, managed to hit my break 90 and I got two birdies. And also the S62 watch was a big success despite being in yards. Probably could have made up an extra couple of shots there, but next week we're going to be focusing on those chip shots, which uh, kind of cost me a couple of times there today. And I'll catch you next week.